January 12, 2010 is a day the people of Haiti will never forget. In the days and weeks and months following the catastrophic earthquake that occurred on this day, many people from around the world came to help. Notre Dame was one of them. It's likely this is a virus. Notre Dame alumni, faculty, parents, and friends descended on Haiti, performing some 700 surgeries, delivering 250 babies, and seeing more than 25,000 critical patients, all in the first six months after the disaster. The Notre Dame Haiti facility was transformed into a trauma center for victims of the quake. Our hearts are with those who have died and those who still suffer in the country of Haiti. Back at home, the Notre Dame family joined together, offering their prayer and financial contributions to these life-saving efforts. Today, our commitment endures, as it has since 1944, when the first members of the Congregation of Holy Cross arrived in Haiti. In Leogan, the Notre Dame Haiti program continues to oversee relief efforts while waging its 20-year battle against lymphatic filariasis, a debilitating disease afflicting a third of Haiti's inhabitants. In Port-au-Prince, we are rebuilding the Basil Moreau School, which has for years served an impoverished community with an irrepressible desire to learn. Everywhere, Notre Dame and Holy Cross are bringing hope to a people suffering unduly from natural disasters, infectious disease, and political instability. Hope is the last thing that Haitian people can afford to lose. I believe that with the support of the University of Notre Dame Haiti program, we can work hand in hand to improve the situation. This is the fundamental lesson of our Notre Dame education, our shared obligation to serve. As we honor our perpetual commitment to the Haitian people, we offer thanks and prayers for all those who support and sustain our efforts. Thank you.